Hi. Hi. I'm a multi-award winning voiceover artist with seven very expensively produced demos and I just wanted to introduce myself. Right. So, if you're working on anything which might have my name on it. A call to action, or CTA, is a direction or an instruction that you give to a potential customer so that they end up making a purchase from you. You are calling them to make a specific action that will end up making their circumstances better. But though we understand this concept in voiceover copy itself, when we try to apply it to our own marketing correspondence, the messaging often gets muddled. If we don't have a very clear call to action in everything we send, then we risk two things. One is wasting people's time by confusing potential collaborators about what we actually want from them. And two, causing ourselves anxiety because we don't actually have clear expectations about what the response is that we want. And this will have a huge knock on effect on your marketing as a whole. As a result, the more you reach out in such a muddled way, the more demotivated you'll get by the subsequent silence and the more you'll be willing to speculate about whether or not you're not good enough or your outreach isn't good enough or your demos aren't good enough uh, that you're absolutely terrible and that you're being blacklisted when the reality may be is that you're actually exceptional but because you're not being clear in what you're asking people don't know how to respond and therefore they just save the time by not doing so let's get into the habit of always checking that your marketing has a clear call to action now most of the times for voice actors the ask itself won't be that avert you're not asking people to buy or hire now because voiceover artists and voiceover work doesn't really operate in that kind of workflow. It could be, could I be added to your voice roster? Or could I be considered for any future projects? But this is obviously assuming that you know that they do deal with voiceover talent. If you're reaching out to a video production company and you're not sure whether or not they do deal with voiceover directly, you can modify your ask, quantify it and have it in two sections. So for example, do you deal with voiceover talent directly? And if so, could I be added to your database? Apply this filter to all of your correspondence. If time really is money, then you want to make sure that all of your correspondence is as frictionless as possible so that you can distill it all down and value your prospects time. The sooner you get into the habit of really distilling down your correspondence and asking those specific questions, the sooner you'll start getting direct answers back and if they're positive and people do want to work with you then great but if they don't at least people have responded to the question that you've asked and you'll know to move on instead as ever thanks for checking out this video please do like subscribe and spread the word and i look forward to seeing you next time